Hey, my name is Chad. And I'm Bennett. And on this channel, we like to make stuff. And this is a $700 pencil. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the PP1 or Pencil Precision 1 uh, tool set by Bridge City Tool Works. So here in just a minute we're going to get my son Bennett down here to do the actual unboxing and he thinks this is a pack of airplanes so he might be disappointed or he might be into it and he'll stick around and do the rest of the review with us. And we're here with my younger son Bennett. Today we're going to do an unboxing. What are we unboxing today? Today we'll be unboxing about like 25 B7, Model B17s. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, open it up. I can't believe you're trusting me with this. Oh god. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh, yay! That's that's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see what's what's under the paper. Okay. All right. What do we got? So we got um a peep a double P black leads and um blanks kit. Okay, we ready to see what's in the big box? Yep. All right, so it's double packed. Here, I'm gonna lift everything up. Help me pull the big box. It's heavy. All right. Um, okay. Get rid of that box. Open it up. You know, I feel like I'm I'm unboxing a snack pack. You know, oh, those YouTube videos. This is nice. I don't see how. It's What's it say? Wait. Pencil person. Precision. Precision. Okay, so. So the pencil precision tool set is a fairly new release. It's on sale now for $699. Regularly, it's listed at $769. So if you're going to get into it, it's probably a good time to get into it now. But uh, I might be interested in giving this away. So stick with me through the end of the builds and find out how. Packed in a packaging box with some foam and plastic wrap. Uh, let's see if I can lift this up. So what do we got here? The pencil precision box, that, that's all. Oh, that'll make that'll do it for today, folks. So what if they sent us the wrong thing and it's not a pack of airplanes? Oh, uh, I, I knew you or Can you open it? Oh god, it's definitely not gonna be That's nice. Smells like a new car. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be B-17s. I it would be it was too small. It would definitely be too small to this box would definitely be too small to hold 25. Um Alright, so so it's not airplanes, is it? How could you, Dad? <laughs> you lied to me. Okay, so is this still interesting? So what do you think this is? I, I remember you seeing a video about um, a pen, a perfect pencil um, video. So, so it's a pencil making machine. Yeah. Do you want to try it out? Does this look interesting to you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's see what it's all about. So as we said before, this is the Pencil Precision PP1 from Bridge City Toolworks. It's a set of tools. It has 
one job and that is to make a pencil. Um, so I'm not going into the pencil making business. Uh, this just looked like something that was really so satisfying and so much fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Also it smells like an, also it smells like a shoe store. It does kind of smell like a shoe store. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the price first. We got to get the elephant out of the room. This thing is totally a novelty item. Like I said, I'm not going into the pencil making business, um, but I think I can use this as marketing. I can I can mark each of my pencils with the laser, with my info or somebody else's info, and I've got an endless supply of nice scrap wood. So I'll be able to use some of that. So let's talk about the packaging. It smells like a shoe store. It smells like a shoe store. You've got, um, I don't, I think this is faux leather. I think it's a vinyl. Um, yeah, it's a vinyl for sure. But it, I think the packaging is really nice for a tool set. It's, it's weighty. It's, it's got wooden sides on the inside, I think. And uh, when you open it up, it's got these, um, well, everything is displayed nicely. Here's your instruction book, wrapped in plastic. Um, it's got yep, seven like different. Store. It's got seven different components here, uh, all in a. This is a very solid foam core insert, um, and the the tooling. I mean, the tools are just so nice. Different colors. You got purple here. You got a. You got a copper color and gold and some kind of a deep gray or dark blue. Um, so it's got seven different components. It comes with a sharpener. Um, this is the guillotine kit. We'll get into that. Looks like it's got some set screws here that are rolling, rolling around loosely. I got to figure out where those were. Yep, and not, definitely smells like a shoe store. And not lose them. Um, it's got these clamps here for once you get the pencil the two pieces of the pencil together and what it is it's two pieces of wood that get uh, glued together with the lead inside um, then you got the block plane which is a um, it's got a specialty blade which you will only use with this uh, with this setup um, because it uh, has two different uh, purposes one you will carve out the the trench for the uh, that will receive the lead and then it will shave down the sides to make the hexagonal pattern. Um, this here is the block plane sled. Um, we'll get into how it all works here in a minute. And this here is the extruder, which you will put the pencil in here and you'll push it on through and it's going to cut the shape of the pencil, um, the diameter. So it's either going to be a hex, um, which is the natural uh, the natural pencil shape that everybody's used to. Um, you can get a round pencil out of it. You can get a triangular pencil with rounded corners, and you can get a um, a textured pencil. And we'll we'll just, we'll demonstrate all of those. Uh, and then it's got the different die sets. It's got eight different dies that you put in here, and those will do the actual shaping of the pencil. And then it comes with a blank set. Um, these are all the materials you need to make 25 pencils. And they sent me a spare set of pencil materials. Um, that was free. I don't think that they do that regularly, but they went ahead and did it for me, so I can't guarantee if they'll do that for you or not. This shows my emotion. Okay, so, whoa, I don't want to lose that. So I found these three set screws floating around inside the box, and I found, it took me a minute to find where they go, but they go right here between the jaws of the uh, extruder. Um, so, whoa, I, I haven't read the directions yet, but I've seen enough videos to know what these are for. Um, so the way this, this works is these little arms fold out, and your new shaped pencil goes between these uh, these clamps and spins freely, and that's your your painting um, brace. They got these little knobs on the end, and they go 
inside where the pencil lead goes, um, in the hole where the pencil lead is. So you can set up two pencils for painting at one time. Okay, so if you find loose set screws floating around inside your new box, that's where they go. You probably don't want to lose them because they seem pretty specialized. Oh, and they're spring-loaded. I just noticed that. Seems like it. Okay. Oh, it's just worth it. I feel like a real woods craftsman. Wood craftsman? Yeah, that's what I mean. I think we got it already. But you said cut until nothing's cutting. You feel like it's cutting? Mm-hmm. Kind of. Check this out. So what we will be doing next is we will put um, the lead side of the blanks in these slanted grooves, lead side facing down, um, like this. Then, of course. All right, and then you'll just shave the corners off. Cut until nothing is being cut. starting to work. All right, go until it quits shaving. I'm not cutting at all. <laughs> I 
next after it's done you will um, untighten this um, and switch these uh, and switch grooves so flip-flop them yeah okay and repeat the process yep This is fun. Why is it fun? I mean, it's, what's the word? Interesting. It passes the time well. Is it satisfying? Yeah. Seeing it come to life like this and how quick it takes to actually shave these. Which is not really that fast, but... I'm not sure if you got good at it. It'll come out in about five minutes, right? Almost done shaving. I think we got it. Mm -hmm. so that's a, it's a little bigger than this pencil, right? Yeah, a tiny bit. So now what do we do? Uh. I think you take the lead and put it in. Yep. You gotta get some glue, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it fit? Ooh, looking like a pencil. Okay, so now that we got both sides of the pencil shaped and the lead is out, we're going to apply the glue right uh, down the middle. Okay, now use your finger to spread it all across. All right. Just push it in like you're spreading butter. You gotta get messy sometimes. Alright. Let go in. Okay, you gotta get it cover everything that is dry. Make sure you get all the dry wood. Alright. Wait, oh, you meant spread it on the on the dry wood. Yep. Okay, now get the other piece and Does put it on. Does this drive past? Nope. Put the other piece on. Oh. Just like that. All right. Now, get these pieces here and put them over the ends. Like this? Uh, probably the other way. Okay, and now we use this again. We have to open up this clamp here. Okay. Now get the pencil and put that so it's balanced in the middle. Like this? No, like in the clamp. Oh. Okay, now tighten it a little bit. Not too tight. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we let it dry. Alright. Okay, so after you dry it, you take off the clamps. Uh, how do you so we added some extra clamps just to get more uh, pressure distributed along the glue joint. Push the red button. There you go. Uh. Get 
can't get it off. Thank you. We got it. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, we gotta knock off the glue squeeze out. Maybe sand it a little bit because we got some glue stains that aren't going to take the, the color very good. All right, so let's do that. Here, hold that. So what we will be doing is we will um, be painting the actual pencil. So what you do first is you bring these out, stick one end of the pencil in one of them and um, crank the other, the, this. Back up. There, now go back. All right, and then you just. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so it rotates freely here. Okay, we're gonna be using red dye. Red dye, trans tint dye. So. Okay, cover the, the top, no, 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 no. Cover the top with the rag. There you go. Now, give it a splash upside down. Oh, you're bleeding. I really don't like that because I know dye is poisonous. So oh. give it a good give it some good coverage. You know, if there weren't the red bubbles, I would have totally mistaked that for cranberry juice. Why would Dad have cranberry juice in the garage? And why not in the fridge? Now with dye, the color is cumulative. So it's kind of pink now. You add more, it gets redder. All right. I had no idea I would ever be using this red dye. So I'm gonna put my dye all over this. Is it fine if I get at least a little bit? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, that's good. so it's not toxic? Yeah, you, you just do little squirts. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. We've already right. got a bunch on there. See, now you got to lift some drips. Keep turning it. See, like this. Okay, so now we're using the purple thing, which is going to uh, cut the end so we can fit the eraser on it. So first thing we're going to do is score it, which means we're going to lift this thing. We're going to install the pencil in. We're going to drop it down and twist it against this blade right here. Okay, now Bennett's going to Pin in the pencil, which basically means we're going to shave off the diameter of this pencil down to the scoring mark. And we're going to use this end of the jig. Push it all the way through. Push it. Okay. Mm. Pull it back. Okay. Push it into the flat part down. Okay. Now push it. Now spin. No. Pull it out. Mm. Okay. Flip. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking um, the 
fur you, fur, fur you. Furul? All right, yeah. I'm taking the fur, furul and inserting it here with the pencil. So we turn the purple thing over on his back. It's on his back now. Okay, now what do we do with the eraser? Just press it in? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like you said, we're putting in the eraser. Dun, 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 dun. Is it done? Well, we need to sharpen it, actually. Ooh, it's exciting. A new pencil. Pencil that we made. I think we're going to try and bring all over it again. Wear out the equipment just by constantly taking it to pieces. And what do we do? Sit and twiddle our thumbs? For a while, yes. The rest will do us all good. Give us time to think. Coming back fresh to the job might help solve it. Well, in any case, we can't go on sweating our insides out. The more physical energy we use up, the quicker the store of oxygen goes down. How much oxygen have we got? Oh, at a guess, I'd say enough for 15 more days. That all? It seemed enough when we left home. We didn't expect to spend extra time here. Well, that means unless we take off within 10 days, we won't have enough left to last the journey back to Earth. And how about food? Normal rations would last about as long as the oxygen. But both can be eked out over a slightly longer period, if we're careful. Doc, I'll make it your responsibility to ration both the food and the oxygen. Uh -huh. We'll organize periodic checks of the ship's installation. Now, uh, one flashlight will remain on the control table, but it'll be turned on only when necessary for the check and for Doc to write his diary. Is that so important that we have to waste valuable light on it? One flashlight lasts quite a time. Besides, now that a quarter's out of it. All right, Bennett. So, now that we've made our first standard hexagon pencil, the review's not over. What do we do now? Let's make some more. Why not? That's right. This kit comes with the ability to make four styles of pencils. You've already seen us make the he hexagon pencil. What else can we make? Well, we can make the circular, the triangular, and the beaded. That's right. And with that, we use the one component we have not yet demonstrated, and that is the extrusion unit. And this is really where the magic of this kit comes in. But first, we're going to make up three new hexagon pencils. Let's do that. All right, so right now, uh, Bennett and I got these three new hex hexagonal, hexagonal, hexagonal? I don't know. Hexagonal. Uh, uh, pencil blanks glued up. I got the third one still in the clamps here. It's ready to come out. So right now, we've got the extruder set up for the circle pencil. It's going to go through these three different dies that are progressively smaller till we get our final diameter that's going to get pushed right out in a perfect circle. All right, Bennett, you ready to try to uh, get it in there? Hold on, I got this. There we go. Okay, so I was going to go through the copper piece, which is just like the brace. And that's a hexagon shape, the same as this pencil. Then it's going to go through this first die. It's going to start cutting edges off. Okay, go ahead and crank it. How fast? And as fast as you want to. All right. <laughs> okay. okay, now it's going into the second extruder, or the second die. Okay, and now it's coming through the third die. The third and final. Okay, crank it on through. Doesn't look that circular. Actually, now that I see it, it does from a different angle. Push it on through. Here we go. Do, 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 do. 
Keep pushing all the way through until the pencil comes out. All right, so we got our round pencil. Um, ben is going to go ahead and get the uh, get the tenon set up for the for the eraser, um, while I go ahead and change out the the dies for the next uh, for the next shape we're going to do. Okay, on these dies, they're all labeled. There's a one there, if you can see that. Here's a three, so you get them in the right order. And two. And there are eight pieces for the three different shapes. So we'll put them back in order. Which one should we do next, Bennett? Hmm, triangle. Okay, so we got three for the triangle. Again, here's the one, two, and three. Da, da, da. All right, so that's in. So did you want to maybe color this? Okay, so it goes in, this is the sharp side. So the sharp side points forward. Again, we got number one. And it goes flat side down, I think. Mm. Okay. I'm not a professional. Number two. So the triangular pencils do not get an eraser. So they're, they're gonna be good for using in the shop maybe. Hmm. Okay. Then how come pencils I use that word triangular? Um, then we'll tighten was... these down, these thumb screws down. How come the, tra the pencils I worked with from you buy had erasers then? Mm, we just, this one isn't giving us the eraser option. Uh, this one's far enough. Almost. That's why I put it all the way back. You know what? I would like to do the beaded. So I can do this one? Yeah. Okay. You can be the cameraman. Alright. Okay, so that's the number two, right? And here's the number three. That's the number one, right? What? Does it say number one on there? No, it says three and two. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll bet we have to make it round or something first. Maybe we should read the directions on this one. Yeah. All right, so the beaded option only comes with two uh, dies, but you do need the number one round to go first so good thing we good thing we were paying attention so we have to add the number one right here yeah. Yeah. righty tidy lefty loosey oh look look what i found here so when we pushed it all the way through the last time it shaved off a piece of the uh the, the pusher here. It didn't ruin it, but I guess that's not cool. <laughs> well, anyway, live and learn. That's, uh, I guess that's part of the review. So first is going through the rounder, the rounder maker. I wonder what makes it so special that it has to be um, round and then... Yeah, it probably just makes the diameter small enough to get through number two. Hmm. So now we're shaving in the beads. And we're in through number three. Yeah. Don't blame me, YouTube. Have some common sense here. Oh, Don't look blame at that. me for having a shaky hand. Ooh. That's pretty cool, huh? I haven't seen a pencil like that ever. Yeah. You gonna keep this one? Yep.
color do you want it to be? Red again, because red is my favorite color. Okay. What if we made it red and blue? Purple. Okay, well, we can do the whole thing purple if you want. I mean, purple is my second favorite. Purple. Actually, it's my third favorite. Do you like this color of purple? Well, what if we just mix the red and the blue dye? Oh, we can try that. Ooh. The magic of the shaving process. All right, so one thing to note here. Okay, we're all the way through. Pull it. And there it is. Ooh. One thing to note here, um, the kit comes with these screws here. You want another and thing to note? There's two screws here, which gives you the oper gives you the option to uh, mount this to a board. Three different types of pencils. Of course, you've already seen the hexagon. So here's the triangle with the rounded rounded corners. It's got some glue squeeze out here. Didn't shave that part, so we can. Touch that up with some sandpaper. Um, we can we can put an eraser tip on this one. So Bennett, you can go ahead and and put the uh, the cuts on that one. We'll do it one more time. And show what that is. We'll first do this, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Now he's going to twist it and put a cut on that shoulder. Okay. Looks good. So now we're going to spin this. He's going to push that through on all sides to cut the tenon for the eraser. Okay, he's just going to keep going around and around until it's perfectly cut on all angles. So we're going to be painting this pencil this color, blue. All right, what about this triangular one? Um, green. Okay, and the circle? Purple. Okay, and that's gonna be a mix of red and blue, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I use transtint dye on a lot of other projects, so I've got some of this laying around. You can obviously use any type of coloring you want on your pencils. Um, so he's just going to rub this down and soak it in real good. So now that we got this blue one done, we're going to get the purple one. Since we've already got blue out, and that's going to be a mix of red and blue. This is the purple one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and start blueing that up. See right here, that's where the super glue is squeezed out. And uh, it's protecting the wood from taking color. All right, what about winning my pencil precision kit? I can't believe it, but I'm actually willing to give it away. But a few things need to happen first. First thing is you need to like the video. You need to subscribe to the channel. And you need to comment below that you did indeed subscribe to the channel. And number four, this channel needs to reach 10,000 subscribers right around uh, 300 right now but I don't think 10,000 is an unreasonable goal especially if this goes viral 
Uh, who knows, I've never had a viral video on YouTube. This could be it. And I could be giving it away next week. Probably not. And so, if you are the lucky winner, expect to receive a used item because Bennett and I plan to use this quite a bit more. What? The shirt. What do you mean? No, it's just, it's just my yellow shirt. What do you mean it keeps changing? Oh, and hey, if you really want to support the channel, you can buy the $700 pencil at a discounted rate. Link is in the description. Seriously. But not seriously. But seriously. $700 at a discount.